Understanding Beta Test, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a very interesting topic to discuss. Something that you might have heard in the world of software, games, or even in general conversations, beta test. If you've ever wondered what it means and how you can use it, you're in the right place. So, let's dive in and explore this term together. Beta test is made up of two words, beta and test. Let's look at them one by one. Beta, in the context of software and product development, beta refers to the second phase of testing. This comes after the initial development and testing, known as the alpha phase. During the beta phase, the product is shared outside of the development team to gather feedback and find any remaining issues. Test. This is a general term used to describe the process of evaluating, checking, or assessing something to ensure it is correct, effective, or functioning as intended. When combined, Beta test refers to the phase of testing where a product is evaluated by a specific or wider audience to identify any potential issues before the final release. The main goal of a beta test is to identify bugs, issues, or any improvements that need to be made to ensure the final version of the product is as flawless as possible. Companies or developers use this phase to gather real-world feedback from actual users which is invaluable for creating a successful product. Now that we know what beta test means, let's see how you can use it in sentences. I was selected to beta test the new application before its official release. They are currently in the beta test phase, so they are looking for users to try out the software and provide feedback. The game is still a bit buggy, but it's only in the beta test stage so they will likely fix these issues before the final version. And there you have it, a comprehensive look at what beta test means and how you can use it in your conversations, especially if you're talking about software, games, or new products. We hope this video has been helpful in expanding your English vocabulary and understanding of this term. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.